Health, uh, Mr. Governor of uh, the Kenya Red Cross, CEO, staff members, ladies and gentlemen, good morning. Is it? Yeah, good morning. I am indeed very grateful to have this opportunity to engage once more with the Kenya Red Cross community. I have gone round this beautiful uh, institution and I have seen the very significant opportunity that this institution holds. I did, make a, made a, I did make a commitment when I was installed as a patron of this society that my role is going to extend much further than just the title of patron. I am interested in understanding the dynamic changes faced by the Kenya Red Cross in its institutional and statutory role, and in particular, the manner in which the government and I can strengthen it. And I have had a robust conversation with the management of this institution, and it's now very clear to me what the government of Kenya needs to do in partnership with the Kenya Red Cross and what the patron can assist and how the patron can assist this uh, institution. I'm here today because I appreciate the movement's critical role since the earliest years of our republic. When I got the brief of Kenya Red Cross, I was told that it was established on the December 1965, meaning that I share a birthday with, uh, <laughs> with, the, Kenya, <laughs> with the Kenya Red Cross. And I also share your commitment to effective humanitarian intervention and give my undertaking to support the Kenya Red Cross to be even more effective and supportive of society. The society's humanitarian leadership, especially in disaster risk management, is nothing short of excellent. This has been demonstrated time and time again during various tragedies and crises where human life was in danger or where there was risk of human suffering. On such occasions, the society through its nationwide network of thousands of volunteers has risen to the occasion and served as a beacon of hope and an emblem of both relief and recovery. Most recently during the dreadful season of fear and uncertainty as the COVID-19 pandemic ravaged the world, the Kenya Red Cross mobilized consistently to ensure that much needed help reached vulnerable people affected by the lockdowns and the disruption of vital supply chains. As a result, many lives were saved. As an auxiliary to government, the Kenya Red Cross has been tremendous and its contribution excellent. The numbers used to evaluate and describe these contributions are quite impressive, but they hardly do justice to the magnitude of your social impact on a national scale. For instance, the Kenya Red Cross has significantly strengthened community health systems by investing in capacity building through the training of 88,000 community health promoters on universal health coverage under the COVID-19. This was done in collaboration with the Ministry of Health and also directly by facilitating community health service delivery through your own 7,049 promoters in 29 counties. And I want to thank you as an organization for what you are doing to complement what the government of Kenya is doing, especially in disaster management and in matters related to health. In 18 counties, the society has supported capacity building to enhance community epidemic preparedness, detection, and response. At the same time, it has mobilized 2 million people to receive 
cholera vaccine in different parts of our country. To support social protection, the Kenya Red Cross has helped in the provision of cash transfers, and I was briefed this morning about that intervention of more than one billion shillings enabling vulnerable households affected by drought to meet urgent food and nutritional needs. And again, to commend uh, Kenya Red Cross for being a partner to the government of Kenya when we are managing the whole space of drought. In youth empowerment and livelihood enhancement, the Kenya Red Cross has supported close to 4,500 young people to enroll in vocational training and equipped 1,640 with startup kits to enable them get to set up their own enterprises. It is clear from these impressive statistics that in diligently performing its role, the Kenya Red Cross Society has not only complemented the government of Kenya most capably, it has also made a major contribution to the foundations of our resilience as a nation. We live in an increasingly precarious era where resilience, along with mitigation and adaptation, has evolved as the primary response to the impacts of climate change. The Kenya Red Cross has demonstrated that these responses are feasible with appropriate mobilization and commitment. This morning, we reflected, consulted, and deliberated with the team here extensively over a broad range of issues of concern which our communities continue to struggle with. We reflected specifically on the looming humanitarian catastrophe arising from extensive environmental destruction and climate change. I am happy with our emphatic consensus that the state of the environment contributes significantly to the well-being of our nation's communities. Changing ecological patterns can exert severe impacts on communities, and climate change is a major driver of devastating national disasters. As we enhance our preparedness and overall capacity to respond effectively to these disasters, then government of Kenya is explicitly committed to collaborating with all stakeholders in rolling back climate change, principally through the restoration of our national forest cover. The ongoing efforts of the Kenya Red Cross Society to plant more than five million trees over the next five years is very good news. This initiative supports the government's target to plant 15 billion trees over the next 10 years. My request here, uh, Governor and uh, CEO, is that knowing the excellent performance of Red Cross and your commitment to our nation, especially to mitigating disasters, it is possible for you to enhance this number of trees from five to 10 million. I think it is possible. I commend this effort most and welcome other organizations to join the project with more initiatives throughout the country so that we can drive the tree planting effort in the right direction. During our reflections, we agreed that there is great need and a huge opportunity for the Kenya Red Cross in conjunction with the government of Kenya to support local communities in adapting to the impact of climate change. We will therefore advocate and provide support for communities to access global funds dedicated to climate adaptation in terms of what was agreed in COP27 framework, especially on the subject of loss and damage. I was particularly impressed that uh, Kenya Red Cross is already aligning its uh, uh, programs and, uh, and, and strategy to tap into this new climate funding that will enable us to deal with loss and damage. More than 5.1 million people have been affected by drought, and the Kenya Red Cross continues to perform an admirably responsive and effective service to many Kenyans. Although the rainy season has commenced, many households in the most severely affected areas remain in critical condition. It will take at least a year 
for these communities to start embarking on the journey to recovery. I hope the society will continue to play its noble role beyond the emergency response space into post-drought recovery and the building of long-term community resilience. Globally, climate change has increased the frequency and magnitude of extreme climate occurrences. This has placed Kenya on a climate disaster pendulum, which swings between drought and flooding, necessitating a new disaster management framework, which focuses on a preventive approach. And I was very happy to listen to Kenya Red Cross make a case for our Kenya Metrology Department to have additional capacity so that we can be able to predict, we can be able to focus, and we can prepare, we can be able to prepare in advance for any emergencies that are in the horizon. Such an approach must leverage the progress made in climate science, which has made actionable data more reliable, enabling us to predict, prepare, and respond to disasters much more effectively and way before they actually happen. And Kenya Red Cross has been in the forefront in um, responding to disasters ahead of many other institutions. The government of Kenya is committed to deploying better and predictable analysis in designing humanitarian response to emergencies. It is highly encouraging that the Kenya Red Cross has invested early warning and early action systems to prepare communities for effective disaster response. These complementary commitments signify our collective readiness for a national multi-agency drought and flood early action protocols, which I have been informed have been taken through simulation sessions. I have committed again to the country, to Kenya Red Cross, that the government of Kenya is going to reconsider the Kenya risk management law that uh, uh, will provide a greater, f a better framework and will also provide a consistent and legal framework for us to engage in the management of risk and um, disasters in our country. And we will be forwarding to Parliament in the next one month the law so that Parliament can consider and provide a framework for a better prepared nation to engage on matters to do with disasters. I must emphasize that protecting and supporting and mobilizing for the rescue of populations in times of need remain a cardinal principle of the government at all times. This includes providing the necessary resources for humanitarian and development operations as well as the coordination of external support. To perform this critical function properly, the government of Kenya is committed to linking national development planning with national disaster risk management. In recognition of the need to strengthen the capacity of local institutions, the government of Kenya and the Kenya Red Cross jointly reiterate the call to urgently re configure international humanitarian financing mechanisms in favor of national institutions and local capacity in line with the localization agenda adopted at the World Humanitarian Summit in 2015. I have also committed that as government, we are going to, uh, we're going to reconsider the decision that was made by the government of Kenya 20 years ago or thereabout, not to provide a budget line for the Kenya Red Cross. And beginning this year, we will reinstate budgetary support by the government of Kenya to the Kenya Red Cross 
beginning with Kenya shillings 100 million this year. We will continue to work with the Kenya Red Cross to look at their financial position, the many positive things that they are doing, the training of citizens as volunteers, the training of our human capital, especially in the health space, and the many other positive things that they are doing. I am persuaded that the Kenya Red Cross deserves the support of the Kenya government and the support of the Kenyan people. I call on all our partners and donors and other stakeholders to join the government of Kenya in supporting the Kenya Red Cross to undertake its auxiliary role in connection with humanitarian matters, enabling the society to perform its role in full enhances Kenya standing as a good and kind neighbor in our region that continues to struggle with the unfortunate profile of a troubled neighborhood. I thank the Kenya Red Cross community in its entirety for the warm reception. And I also want to commit to you that the issues that were raised by the management team here in your, what was that center? The center down the road? The logistics center that I am told you rent from another government uh, entity that uh, the government of Kenya is going to transfer that logistics center from that other government agency, the Kenya Wildlife Service, to the Kenya Red Cross as a means of enhancing your capability to be able to do the good job that you are already uh, doing. Let me also uh, say that um, among the issues that was raised with the, by the management is the issues of fees and levies that are charged by uh, government agencies that again, we are going to prepare a law to be presented to uh, Parliament to exempt Kenya Red Cross from government levies and some taxes so that being a government agency, even though performing auxiliary uh, functions, I think Kenya Red Cross qualifies as a government agency established by law, and therefore they deserve relief for them to be able to perform their functions appropriately. Um, and there are other things that uh, I have agreed with management. I have agreed that I will take them on board and see how we can work out um, the scenario for the Kenya Red Cross to get the relevant support so that you can continue the good job that you're doing. I saw uh, what you're doing at the, uh, for the paramedics in training using the institute that you have. I have told uh, the Minister for Health to see how Kenya Red Cross can partner with Kenya Medical Training Centers to uh, expand the courses on paramedics so that we can better respond to emergencies across uh, the country. I also acknowledge the college, the hospitality college in this uh, institution that you're training some of our best human capital in collaboration with uh, partners uh, from elsewhere uh, and that we are going to continue to provide the necessary support for this great institution. Um, on behalf of uh, the people of Kenya and their government, I thank you for the selfless service that you continue to perform for our nation. In particular, I must especially appreciate Kenya Red Cross volunteers countrywide in their thousands for their courageous service and noble sacrifice. I know that 
there are hundreds of thousands of Kenyans out there volunteering to work with the Kenya Red Cross so that we can save lives, we can reduce um, uh, situations that make Kenyans uh, suffer. And I truly, truly appreciate the work of the many volunteers that do this for us as a nation and for humanity in general. So, Nataka Niseme Asante Sana, Mashimiwa, Jalash, Kwa Tukaribisha, Katika Sehemu Yako Ya Wakilishi, Hapa Bungeni, Na Vile Nimesema, Serikali Ya Kenya, Itafanya Kazi, Pamoja Na Shirika La Kenya Red Cross, Kwa Yale Majukumu, Ambaye Wanaendesha, Ya Kushugulikia Hali Za Darura, Katika Taifaletu La Kenya, Wamekua, ni washirika wetu wa karibu na nimekubaliana na kamati ambayo inasimamia Kenya Red Cross ya kwamba vile ilivyokuwa pale mbeleni Kenya Red Cross sasa tutakuwa na sehemu ya budget ya serikali ya Kenya ambayo tutasaidia Kenya Red Cross kila mwaka um, vile ilivyokuwa pale mbeleni karibu miaka 20 iliyopita Na nimeuliza wale ambao wanasimamia Kenya Red Cross. E, wasiwe wajehuri. <laughs> e, ndiyo tusilete fujo kati yetu. E, ili tuweze kutambua ile majukumu na kazi mzuri mnayofanya katika kila sehemu ya Kenya. E, tumekubaliana pia na hawa viongozi ya kwamba ardhi ambayo mnatumia kama logistic center badala ya kulipa rent kila mwaka sehemu ya hiyo ardhi tutawapatia eh, ili muweze kutumia kuendesha jukumu na kazi nzuri mnayofanya kusaidia wananchi wa taifa letu la Kenya na mheshimiwa Jalash ameniuliza vile vile msaidie kwa sababu nyinyi ndio eh, muko sehemu hii vijana wa mitaa ya hapa kwa training ile pia wawe volunteers na waweza kusaidia hali za dharura zikitokea so again uh, thank you very much uh, for welcoming us to this great institution i am truly happy that i created time to come here and understand uh, better what kenya red cross is doing and as patron i have committed that i will go beyond the title patron and do something for this great institution. So, asanteni sana, and may the good Lord bless you. Barikiwa sana. One of your excellencies, the Red Cross has prepared a gift for you also. So just receive it.